welcome first, Honey Sanchez. Gwen Miller. Gina Valadares. Debbie Van Doren. And Patty Frazier. I think it's wonderful. I've got the urge to get my skates and get on it right now. And by God, I will next weekend. When was the last time you had a pair of skates on and got a, on a bank track? 1973. Where was that at? It was in Hawaii. Would you like to perhaps train some skaters? Show them some of the styles you used back in the 60s and 70s? I would love to. I, I think skating is a wonderful uh, sport, and yes, I would love to help any newcomer that comes along. Do you think roller derby has a chance in the late 90s to make a big comeback? Yes, I believe it does. With baseball out, with uh, hockey out, hey, people, the American people need a sport, and I say roller derby is that sport. Thank you, Norma Rossner. You're welcome. Thank you. Dated from 1950 to 1968. Oh, wow, 18 years. Ready? Right? I'm here with legendary female roller derby skater Bobby Mateer. Hello. Skated in the 50s and 60s. Do you think roller derby can make a comeback? This is why I'm here. I want to tell you, I believe the time is right and we are committed. We're going to do it. We're going to do it right. We're going to have, this is going to be a class act. We are going to do good training, good skating, and this is what we want to do. We want to bring roller derby back to what it was in the 50s and 60s. Have you put and a pair of skates on and tried the track yet? I was yet? out here yesterday and skated, and the track felt great, and it was good, and I'll be back out here training skaters tomorrow. What kind of uh, skaters are you looking for? What kind of young, I know young people, but what kind of people are you trying to bring out? Athletic, healthy, young boys and girls that really want a career and in a, in a sport that's going somewhere. We, we're ready. We're well, going to do it again. You, Burt Wall, and others are the first ones to really try to bring roller derby back in the 90s like it used to be. And, uh, right. That's what I think people want to see. They don't want to see gimmicks. They don't want to see walls or alligators. They want a track and good, tough, fast skating. And that's why we're here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm here with the chief, 
John Parker, great Ooh. skater, legendary <laughs> roller derby skater, a training center. You're going to be teaching some of the new skaters. What do you think about roller derby's chances of coming back? I think they're very good. The thing that will make it go are the skaters themselves. We're going to skate a hard type of game. We got to get them in condition, and they got to show up, and they got to work hard. We need also the young blood. We need girls to be out here. We need new girls, new boys. We'll train them, teach them, and there's a future in this game, and we're going to make a future out of this game. Everything we're going to do is going to be for the skaters. It's to advance this type of skating and get to back to being as big as we used to be. When I was named as the chief and, and all that, that's when we want. We want that type of things. We want fans to love us, and in some cases, they got to hate us, and this is our game. Well, you were pretty hated, I remember, in your day, liked and hated. Uh, you were a great skater and coach. Are you going to teach any of the new kids some of your tricks of the trade? We have to. That's the, that's the name of the game. We have to teach them how to skate, how to do things, how to block hard, when to, when to leave the pack, when to sidestep. These are the technicalities of the game that are needed. This is why it's going to be the fastest moving game in sports. And I think the American public is ready for it because right now sports is not going so great. Well, I don't know. If I had a million dollars, I sure a heck wouldn't strike. I, I think uh, we're going to do it good. And I, we've taken crowds away from people before, and we can do it again with our skating. Thank you, Chief John Parker. Thank you. You're a great skater in the, really, the 60s. I'm here with legendary great female skater Honey Sanchez. A training center roller derby coming back. Is it great to be a part of it? I am excited. I mean, we haven't had this in so long. The skaters, we have it in our blo blood. You know, we're born with this. I mean, I talk about it, I get goosebumps. I'm so excited. And I've skated for many years, and this is just going to go. And I'm just so happy. And I also have another uh, addition to my family, my daughter. And she's also a great skater. Come here, Gina Valadares. There Gina Valadares? Yes, this is my This daughter. is going to be the new breed, the new blood of roller derby. That's it. You looking forward to it? Yes, I am very, very excited. It's a great opportunity for skaters, young and old, to come down and get the opportunity to skate. And really excited about this. Now, she showed you some tricks of the trade yet? Yeah, she has. I've learned a lot from her mom and dad. So you're right now. You started skating when you were very young. Very young, yes. I was in my 16s then, yes. And your and husband, still... a legendary skater? Oh, yes, Ralph Valadares. So she gets a lot of the skating from him and also from me. So you got to watch out and look forward to seeing <laughs> Gina Valadares out there. Will Ralphie be teaching? Oh, I don't know. He's out of the country right now, so we don't know. But he'll probably be excited about this also. So you definitely have amazing uh, what I, uh, 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 bloodlines. That definitely go. runs uh, in the family. So you could be uh, carrying the tradition on of the Valadares. Possibly. I mean, I enjoy skating, and both my parents are wonderful skaters. And hopefully it'll carry on, and maybe I have it. So we'll have to find out and see. Did you used to go down to the Olympic Auditorium and watch your... I did. When we were, I was a little girl, and we used to go down there when they would skate and watch it. It was a packed house, and I was just in awe at all the people that were there. And I would love watching my parents watch on TV and, and being there at the Olympic Auditorium skate. It was a wonderful feeling. So it's so neat to be able to come out here and skate with my mom. It's just such a neat thing for us to be able to do together. And you'll be training here, right here in the, the Roller Derby Training Center. Yes, I will. Right, right here. here. Wonderful this place for us. This is the place. Come on down, everybody. We need new young skaters. And we're here. We got good coaches out there. And we'll get you right off. And you'll be a star. Just wait and see. You heard it from Honey Sanchez. Gina Valadares, and uh, we'll be looking for them very soon in the new era of roller derby. I'm, he oh. I'm here with legendary skater and T-Bird coach John Hall. John, do you think roller derby can make a comeback here in the mid-90s? Uh, Dan, before I answer your question, I have to correct you in one thing. Former T-Bird general manager, I've retired from the T-Birds. I'm freelancing now. And as far as roller derby, with the operation that uh, they have here, with the training center opening up, I know, I'm positive, that roller derby, roller skating is going to come back and come back bigger and ever than before. 
What kind of kids do you think? I know they're looking for a lot of young skaters. What kind of person does it take to get out here and train? It takes a person that wants to skate, a person that wants the challenge of a physical bank track competition, a person that wants to travel and see the world and have fans adoring him or her. That's the kind of person it takes. A person can be young, a young adult, even some uh, middle-aged people can come out here and train. But the basic core of trainers that will be here will be younger people, and uh, they've got a great future. Dan, as you know, I've had a great life in roller derby. I've been places and gone places I never could have done on my own. I've met kings and queens and presidents. I never could have done it as an individual through roller skating and roller derby. I've done it, and I know that here, this training center, other people will have the same opportunity. You skated all over the world on various teams. What moment sticks out in your mind? What was the greatest moment John Hall ever had on the track? <laughs> uh, there's been so many that I can't really name them. I can tell you the worst one was when I broke my neck. <laughs> that was back in New York? No, it was Madison here in uh, was no, Los Angeles in 1965, but fortunately I had good doctors. The man upstairs uh, liked me, and I was in great condition from roller skating, and I pulled through it. So really, a, a, a young person starting has to be tough, has to be able to take up, I mean, no one can just come off the streets and do it. You, gotta, you have, a, have to have some athleticism, don't you? Anybody can come off the street and do it. What counts is what's in here. You take a football quarterback like Jeff Hostetter. It's what he has in here. It's the heart, the guts. He goes out there, takes pounding after pounding, comes back to the line, gets in there, and he motivates his offensive lineman. He motivates the running back. He motivates his team. Well, any young person can come in here, and there's people like um, the people that they'll have here training them that will motivate them to bring out the guts, the innermost heart in these young people. And with that, anybody can become a good roller derby skater. Any chance we'll see you maybe here taking the track to train some of these young kids, show them some of the tricks of the trade? Uh, you knew every, every trick in the book you knew. I'll put it like this. I believe in this operation. I believe in the rebirth of roller derby. If it takes me coming out here to impart some of my knowledge to these younger people, I'll do whatever's necessary to make this operation work. And thank you, John Hall. You're welcome. Thank you, Dan. Thanks, John. Hey, Julie. Hey, Julie. Hey, Julie. Hey, Julie. Hey, Julie. I'm here with a legendary T-Bird skater, skater, Julie the Ace. Patrick, how do you think nicknamed the Ace? Um, I think it was because of my card playing. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> no. Um, probably because I held the record for the fastest five point in 22 seconds. I know that sounds impossible, but it's a record, and it's in the almanac. So That know. is amazing. So they call me the Ace from then on. Roller Derby coming back now. It's night, late 1994. What do you think of this training center? Can it attract the kids and can Roller Derby come back? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. This is an opportune time for the Roller Derby to make its comeback. Uh, number one, it's being done correctly. Uh, they have a training school here that's open from 10 to 3 every day. Uh, no, Saturdays and Sundays and every day from 6 to 10. Anybody can come and skate. And it's going to be fantastic. We have had such a response already. Uh, it's just unbelievable. I mean, everybody is ready for the roller derby to make its return. Everybody has missed it. Any place that I've ever had a job or have ever worked as an escrow secretary or whatever I've done in my life has always, you know, known me. I worked for the title company. They were all fans. They all knew me. I mean, it was fantastic. I mean, so it's out there. Roller Derby's always had this mystique, like a cult following, a big cult following like professional wrestling. Yeah. I guess it all starts right here in a training center. What kind of kids do they have to bring in to get them to, to, to be like the new Julie Patricks? Well, they come from every walk of life. Um, there was a girl on the T-Birds that was, that was a nuclear physicist. I mean, uh, she went to UCLA. I mean, we have everybody that wants to become a skater. I mean, you have to remember, uh, we were worldwide. We went there, we skated in every city in the whole world. I and mean, there was no, no city we left out, Australia, Japan. Uh, we skated everywhere. So uh, just that alone is enticing to young people that want to travel. And uh, I mean, it's just all worth it. It's worth the effort. If coaxed, would Julie the Eighth Patrick don the skates and perhaps teach some of these new uh, people who want to? Sure, sure that's, that's my, my goal now in life is to train uh, the up-and-coming skaters. I have nothing more that I want to do in life uh, but to do that. Because they're out there, they want to skate, they have the, you know, they have all the knowledge, they have all, uh, we can teach them the skating part, uh, the smarts they have, you know, the brains they have. We don't have to worry about that. So it's all going to be fantastic. We just got to get it rolling. Well, thank you, Le legendary uh, T-Bird. Julie the Ace Patrick of the 50s and 60s, 70, right in the late 1978, wasn't it? 
Yeah. What yeah. a career. Thank you, Julie. You're welcome. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> Bob Ventura. What you see behind me is a roller derby track, and there's uh, you don't see this site very often, and it's mostly responsible right here. Burt Wall, Bob Venter. Why now? Why open a roller derby training center? One of the reasons I think that roller derby, since 1935, was a great uh, sport. A lot of spectators really enjoyed it, and it laid uh, dead for quite a while. And we're going to bring it back and get for a lot of young skaters. See, the skaters that play basketball and play football, you have to be six feet two or 290 pounds to play football or basketball. In roller skating, fortunately, anybody can roller skate. Most people have. And all we have to do is get used to the bank track, and you can be on a team and skate and make a lot of money. With the severe decline of some sports that are going on right now, is, is 1994, late 94, 95, the, the time to start roller derby? This is it, the perfect time. You got trouble with hockey, you got trouble with uh, baseball, and it's just great now timing because uh, back in the 50s, we drew Madison Garden crowds bigger than the New York Rangers did in hockey and uh, all throughout the country, Chicago, even in the Los Angeles area back in those days, and we're just going to go back to that kind of games and skating. What kind of person are you trying to get to come here and learn roller derby, to come right into the training center and become the next roller derby star, roller derby queen? The biggest thing is desire. If you want to be a skater and you work hard at it, anybody can skate. Everybody has. What we're trying to do is get mostly people between the ages of 16 and 26 years old, boys and girls, men and women, that want to come and make a living skating. Tell us about the staff. You're going to have some amazing legends of the game teaching right here on this track. Who are some of the people that you brought in to uh, help some of the kids? <laughs> we got Bert Wall here. He's going to be here. Yep. We got myself. Both between the two of us, we have probably 50 years of skating. And we got Johnny Parker. Uh, we got Julie Patrick, Norma Rossner. Uh, just down the line, there's, there's so many of the old skaters. Jazz Valderas. Yeah. So many of the old skaters feel so good about this coming back that they're just enthused about it and just want to help out every way they can. So there's going to be a lot of good instructors out here. Well, you guys are the ones, I, I guess to say, the first ones to try to bring roller derby back. This is a fantastic... How hard was it to get a building, to get the track up, and to get this thing going? It's not easy. Well, a lot of people have tried it and put it together. We got the track. We bought it sight unseen from Chicago. We couldn't get anybody to freight it out here, so we rented it. Uh, we flew back, rented the truck. And I drove it back myself. Bob came down from his job up in uh, his business up in uh, uh, Sacramento area and uh, helped me put it up. And uh, sometimes I think I just put it up so I'd go back skate and have something to skate on. And this will be roller derby like it used to be. No crazy oh, gimmicks, no alligator, no pets, no walls, no jumps. This is what people really want. Is roller derby the way it's supposed to be done? Well, That's what do it's going to be. Yeah, we're going to do everything we can to speed it up. We'll hopefully go back to wooden wheels. And uh, the track has already been raised seven or eight inches already, and we plan to go another 11 inches by the time we get through. It's going to be a skating, an athletic event, not a show. Well, We're going to have yeah. five teams of, I mean, five girls, five boys on each team are really going to be skating against one another for, for, for kids. So in 1995, it will be roller derby, roller derby making the final, the great comeback everyone I think has been waiting for. And people of all ages, really, the people who used to go to the Olympic when they were a kid, the young kids now, the professional wrestling audience, which always appeals to kids about 13 and under. Right. You've got a tremendous audience you can tap into, and I think probably now is the time. That is the time. 95 is the year. Bob Bender, Burt Wall, they're the guys bringing it back, so support them. Come down to the training center. It's fabulous. You see everyone having a great time skating behind us, and I think uh, roller derby is on the way back. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Action.
this is Harvey Shane with Roller Derby USA. We're at the Grand Olympic Auditorium in downtown Los Angeles. Two very fierce competitive teams tonight, the Las Vegas High Rollers and the Hollywood Stars. And I'll tell you something, the Vegas High Rollers got their work cut out for them because the Hollywood Stars always do well on their own turf. So let's check out the action. 